Happy New Year, family. Happy, 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 happy New Year. Is that what they're supposed to say? Y'all know I can't really get into it because I cannot believe that the deadest time of the year is what we consider the New Year. And you know that's not on point. Y'all talk about being on cold. <laughs> Y'all know that ain't on cold. Because innately inside of your human body, inside of your frailties, you know that the beginning of a new year should be spring. And to show you how this devil got us all, <laughs> he got his own people all off uh, a rhythm. Because this is a rhythm. The, the, the devil has us all off rhythm. Okay, so I don't mean to get deep right out the bat, but you want me to say Happy New Year, so I'll say it because it's protocol. Okay. However, in my opinion, I, I look at the New Year when the buds start coming on the trees and the puppies are born and the newness of life and the new bugs and the set, all that uh, beginning, to, the greenery beginning to come through the earth. That's the newness of the year. Um, October should be the, it, it really should be the 8th month and not the 10th. So y'all go figure that one out. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome to the mental house. I just want to kill a little time before we get to this two minute mark. And um, I hope all of y'all's uh, weekend uh, well, I should say uh, New Year's Eve celebration was safe, was festive, was fun. For those of y'all who uh, are into celebrating the New Year, I hope it went well. I hope you, um, you know, aren't recuperating too tough and down there praying to that damn porcelain God. I hope <laughs> that's not part of your celebration. But if it is... And you feel good about it and it was worth it, then all right, then so be it. But I want to make a comment about um, uh, uh, people not thinking that we're aware of what they do. Okay. And, and this comes from just watching a little. Y'all know my the love to hate show was a Corey Hope on 5150 show because it's so crazy. and But what it does is it speaks to the heart of black people. And so I watch it because it is an honest and a fair um, uh, 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 thermometer of where we stand, of, of our swag, of how we think. Um, and so I love the 5150 show. Not only do I love it, Corey grew up in <laughs> Robert Taylor Holmes. I have plenty of people that live in Caprini Green and Robert Taylor Homes because I'm from Milwaukee. And we almost are like sister states, if you want to, sister cities, if you want to know the truth. Chicago and Milwaukee, we're so close. So, um, but I think we were like 90 minutes um, away from each other. So, you know, I don't even think, it's, yeah, is it that? 90 minutes away? So, um, there's a lot of that Midwest swag in what Corey does that I'm familiar with. Same thing with R. Kelly. Um, I, I performed on this Midwest um, region, on this track, back in the day when I was a performer. So um, I do know that Corey, Corey has a, um, the pulse of the black community in him, on him. And there's a lot of people that watch Corey and try to play like they don't watch him. Um, or are ashamed to say that they watched him for whatever reason. But he's your cousin on your daddy's side <laughs> that is just real. And when he comes in, he's going to keep it real. I have an uncle from Gary. Like I said, I'm all Midwest all day, every day. That's what I represent because that's what I am. That's where... We're from, you know, those of us from Detroit, those of us from Milwaukee, Chicago, um, Ohio, <laughs> Minnesota. Um, we all 
in a region together, and it's almost like a feel. It's different than the y'all West Coast um, fillers, and it's definitely different than my Southern brothers and sisters. And I must say, everybody got their own beauty. And I think it took Nelly and from St. Louis because that's where my mama people from. I'm Midwest. That's why I say I'm Midwest all day, every day. Um, he had to tell you what what he considered country grammar, right? And the Midwest swing. Because, you know, we got a different swag. But what I wanted to say is that y'all know it's been a lot of changes on the uh, uh, 5150 show over the last year. Right? Whether it's been pre uh, precise, whether it's been Zoe Williams, um, whether it's been, um, what's the dude's name? The big dude, Nate um, Grady. Which was kind of sad for me because uh, Grady is a Chicago boy and that's a homeboy. You don't have too many relationships that you can count on from back in the day that stay true to you. But then again, um, you know, it is what it is. There are some times when, um, you know, when you're in a situation where you talk as much as we do. Like I said, you bound to put your foot in your mouth sometimes. You bound to make enemies. You bound to make people that you love um, look at you sideways, you know. Um, but it's all it's all part of it. And so for Brother Precise, I just wanted him to uh, look at this and, and see um, that it was clearly obvious to all of us that you was on uh, a different vibe. Now, whether you want to talk about your personal business or not, uh, that you don't have to. That's your business. But you were very disrespectful on that show. There was a lot of times I saw you annoy D. And just as a female listening to this, listening to this, don't matter what you think about me and my preferences or none of that. It's like. You don't know how to stop. And you one of those dudes that if you were in the club, you might have to stab your ass. Because I done told you to leave me alone. Okay? And you keep bothering. And I see how those things escalate. Now, I'm being funny when I'm saying that, but I know somebody that, that happened to. Just for that kind of behavior, that bravado, that arrogance that you think is sexy is not. It is really mind blowing, and it does reek of a person on some kind of um uh, 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 a drug like a cocaine. We know you ain't on no damn heroin because you be doing this. You ain't doing that. You all up on somebody. You all like this, and you don't see yourself. You know, um, just like a lot of us don't see us. There have been times I haven't saw myself. Okay. But I'm going to tell you something. You have a very, very wonderful voice. And you can sing, brother. And I'm sure you know that. And it is those of us who are talented that sometimes it's hard for us to uh, hear the other side as artists. And as you notice, I always self say myself included. Because I don't want to, for nobody to feel like I'm alienating them or that they not, I'm not just as human. What to air is human. But to forgive is really divine. And not only that, there are some relationships that have to come to an end. Whether you want them to or not, they force, they force the end. Um, uh, um, for whatever reason. And they have their right. They, it, it is their choice. You have to respect their choice and their right because it is their life. So what I say about Zoe, I think that was probably kind of what disappointed me the most. But I also know how it feels um, to be sitting back on information and wanting to say something and you don't for the sake of the show or for the sake of the friendship. But then you realize that the friendship ain't having the same kind of uh, give and take about you. The relationship has to change. Should it have changed the way it did? I think Right there like that? No. You know. And their brothers say they made up. It's just like a broken vase. You know, once you crack it open, you put it back together. But it's just not the same. They always going to have love for each other. But 
that argument that they had was not something, in my opinion, that should have happened over the airways. Just like what happened with Grady shouldn't have happened over the airways. It's too much love, you know. Um, and then when you mention in people's names, like I said about me and my situations, um, family members are angry with me because I've talked about certain things, you know. Um, in my opinion, they are, because they are my life, and they affected me in some kind of way. Doesn't mean I don't love these people. Don't mean that these people aren't a significant part of my life. It just means that I'm just expressing my life. And the people that are listening to that should be able to understand that. When Corey goes in and um, says things about what's really affecting him in his life. He's so real. In my opinion, that there it is. There it is. You can't hold my dirt against me. It's right there. And so sometimes when you do that, it allows you to have a certain freedom. And sometimes that's all some of us want as we get older. And so we might find ourselves saying things or putting our foot in our mouths, um, looking for that, that freedom. Okay, I think um, um, there are some things that Precise needs to address. Um, and not to blame anybody and, and nobody, but look at yourself and look at your behavior and then look at the energy on the program. Okay, there are some people like Ryan who I feel was um, insulted because I don't feel that Corey should be talking about uh, and, and making it. A big, a big part of his mantra, you know, this is my opinion, about who you sleep with. Because it's such a small, insignificant part of your life. And what you say to people is cruel. There's nothing that you say in a way that's loving. And if you think that that's how you get people, by being just cruel to them, then, brother, you will learn that from people walking away. You know, and not wanting to come back because of your cruelty. D is a trooper. She's there, but I'm sure she's got her own reasons as well. You know, D was once married to one of the most highest profile men in America, right? She, I mean, she went from the number one. You tell me. Ice tea. Let me kick my credentials. A young player bred in South Central LA. Home of the body bag. You wanna die? Wear the wrong color rag. I used to walk in the stories and yell, lay down. Listen, me and Ice T go way back. So we the OGs here. So when I'm looking at D and I'm saying, okay, that is her relevance because she's used to this somewhat of some spotlight. And this stuff does feed somewhat of our narcissism, somewhat of our need for um, to entertain um, uh, 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 some people's more than others, <laughs> some more than most. But what you do have to realize is that be sure your sins will find you out. And precise, whether you come back on the 5150 show or not, I'm going to miss your voice. It was, it was a uh, it was a different type of, of voice. It was real soulful. It was the stuff that I like because I love a soulful singer. And, um, you know, you, you, you have that. Okay. Um, and um, I thought that was a, a wonderful test and a touch to the show. Craig Facts. He can rap. So, Cole, I know he had a contract somewhere because he come off the dome too strong. So, you already know. He, he, you know, he. Whenever he can come through, he brings a specialty to the show, okay? And um, I appreciate that. So this is the old to fifty one fifty show, and it's also my take on uh, what happened with uh, Mister Precise, Mister Grady, uh, and I'm a fifty one fifty fan. 
Y'all know I sit up here. Sometimes you'll see me rocking my old baseball. The very first 5150 uh, baseball jersey that came out. Them things was pretty expensive too. I got one. I got the uh, the, the, the um, t-shirt as well. You, you had the jersey. And I got We Are Not Afraid. Listen. I've supported the 5150 show and I still support the 5150 show because I'm not ashamed. Kiss by the sun. I got that t-shirt. Um, 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 but what I do want to do is say this. There's a lot of black people that for, for whatever reason, behind closed doors, they'll listen to Corey. But when you ask them something about really authentic and real that he said they go oh, who Corey the Hulk of 5150 oh no I don't listen to anything like that I, of course not What what's that and what I'm seeing in that is if you grew up around black people 5150 is the authentic pulse of the black community okay and so either you ashamed of that or you won with it. Don't mean that everything that they say you agree with, that you roll with, that you rock with. But you also understand who has their hands on the pulse of the black community. And you got to go ahead and give them their they props. Right? So as an R&B singer, as a now a retired studio musician, because that's what I do now. And I still work in Chicago. Um, that's pretty much where all my um, work is done uh, on the west side actually but I, 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 I thought it was important um, for me to uh, say that about Precise because you know and the 5150 show and everything has a season and it's course and I think it's good if um, if Zoe chooses to come back or if it, I mean it, it, it really doesn't matter as long as those two men have what they perceive their relationship straight. You know, that's cool. And nobody else should be trying to drive a wedge in there and try to, because I really don't think that those are the heart of black people either. I think those are a lot of the um, bots and, and those things like that that keep a lot of this algorithm stuff going and people at each other's throat. So y'all got to remember that. We all think it's all an illusion. Remember. So with that being said, um, Happy New Year again, everybody. I know I got off my New Year rant. I got to um, uh, 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 say that to everybody. And say it. Happy New Year. Go out and make this a wonderful day. And uh, take care of your heart. Uh, mine is broken. <laughs> My is sincerely broken right now, um, but I don't wish that on anybody else. So y'all go out and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay safe out there because y'all already know you, I feel like there's something coming around the pipe. Everything in America is wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. All right. See you in the next video.